Hello everyone, happy week four of distance learning. Um, we are, this is our halfway point. So once we're done with this week, we'll be officially halfway done with our computer distance learning. And then we'll have four more weeks till summer. So that's exciting. Um, it's also kind of scary and weird because we're not seeing each other. So know that I'm here if you have any questions or you just want to chat because I'm very bored in my home in this small room all the time. Um, today is an advisory meeting and then staff meeting. So I don't have office hours, but you will be not doing that. You will be working on week four, day one. And so today is Monday, April 27th. Love it. Um, you're going to be able to read your independent read and identify the point of view and genre of the story. So first, check your email, check your email, check your email. Love it. Step two, read your independent read. So you're going to find a place in your home that is 38 minutes for 30 minutes you are going to be reading quietly so try to find a quiet spot um you're going to write down the book you're reading what page you started on what page you finish on make sure you read for those 30 minutes okay we want to practice this as much as we can um here are three short story options so if you don't have a physical book or you finished your books there are some short stories you can read from newsilla once you are done reading welcome back I have you done 30 minutes of reading. Um, you are going to identify the point of view of your story. So remember, point of view is the narrator's position within the story. And so first person point of view is when the narrator, the person telling the story, is also in the story, right? I could write a story about um, my family's trip to the Everglades and I'll write all about like then I went on a walk with my brother Alec right so pronouns used I I went on a walk with my brother Alec second person is when the narrator is talking to the reader um, and telling them what to do that one's not very popular um, but it could be like an advice books if you think of it in that way third person point of view is when the narrator is telling a story but they're not in the story so I could write a story about um, three kids, Joe, Jacqueline, and Josiah. And the three of them are going on an adventure through the woods and they discover a dead bear. So I could be writing that story um, and I am not a part of the story at all. And so thus it is third person, right? We are we talk about he then goes and runs this way she runs that way they work together to find the person that killed the bear um so i gave you an example of one of the books that i'm reading right now independently called the water dancer and so you have an example and this is what a full and complete example looks like so make sure your answer looks like that and then you're going to review literary genres which we've been talking about for two weeks you've already seen this chart before i've given you another example and then you're going to write your answer what is the literary genre of your book that you are reading um, and identify which it is so good luck you're gonna do amazing <laughs>